Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download your source image URLs for items that you listed on eBay. And I'm making this video because this is painfully hard to understand uh, looking for answers on Google or elsewhere, and I couldn't find any answers anywhere. So I'm going to walk you through how to do it. First thing you'll want to do is go to your familiar seller hub. And on this page, you're going to see this reports tab. I'm going to click just to give you an overview of where you probably think this should be, but it's not. You click this downloads button and intuitively, I would have guessed that if I download my active listings, that my source image URLs would be there. And in case you're curious, source image URL means that I am hosting my image on a publicly accessible cloud that eBay can then pull and put into my listing. So rather than using eBay to host that image, I'm going to host it on my own cloud service provider and then put that URL so that eBay can pull it into my listing. But when I try to download my all active listings and where I might expect to find my image URL, there is no image here. You, you can see there is valuable information and, and this is a good way to monitor your inventory or to do other things with this specific data, but this is not what I'm looking for. So bummer, 0 for 1, but let's try another route. I'm going to click Uploads and I have another video detailing at length how to use the bulk upload template right here where you just choose a file and you can upload a comma separated value dot CSV file to bulk list many items at once onto your eBay store. Check out the other video if that's interesting to you, but actually on the same tab, you get a history of what you have uploaded to eBay. So I should mention this is only a valid technique to find these image URLs if you're using this bulk upload template to put your items into your store. So you can see here, I've been a listing fiend lately, put in a bunch. I can even scroll this much bigger and I can see my last 100 uploads to my eBay store. And if there's any proof of the value of the bulk upload template, here it is. This is all of the listings I've been putting up uh, lately. So let's just pick a random one here. I'm going to go ahead and, and check out this listing from February a month ago. And I'm going to click this download link to the right. And you can see here, you get the source file and the results. I'm actually going to download the source file because that is what I put into the upload report. And you can see this downloaded here and it has this specific file name. You're going to need some type of program like Excel or I'm going to show you Google Sheets to open this CSV file in a manner that makes sense. And so I'm going to go click upload. I just have a blank Google Sheet sheet here. I don't like paying for Excel, so I just use what's available to me and then off screen, I'm going to my downloads folder. I'm selecting that item and then uploading it, opening it, I should say, into this Google Sheets view. And so here you go. This is the exact document that I uploaded to eBay back a month or so ago. And this is great because I can do a lot with this information. And importantly, here is that image URL field, this is what I'm looking for. I want to remember what the heck this long, nasty uh, website address was where all of these images are saved. So that's how you do it. You do have to be using the bulk upload template to take advantage of this feature. And I should comment briefly about why I'm doing this or why you might want to do this. And the reason for that is to take better control of your sales, of your data, of your images, and to use those more than once. Instead of just a static upload where those images go to eBay and they sit and sit and may not sell, you can now recycle this same information that you did and use those image URLs to maybe 
push to a different sales platform or compile into lots without taking new pictures. Uh, so that's some of the flexibility that this offers. I explain more of some of those reuse uh, potential ideas in my other videos, especially when talking about lots and constructing images for those lots. So check those out if they're interesting, but hope this helped you find your image URLs for your eBay items that you've uploaded through the upload reports. Thanks for watching.